Welcome to God's Food for Thought. This week we're talking about praying to God and praying with God. And in review, I want to go over this one more time here. We pray to God, realizing that His will is far greater. Now think of that. We're praying to God, but we're doing it wanting not necessarily our way, but we're wanting his way, yet we are to be specific. And we say, Lord, I, I need this, I need that. Lord, I ask you to do this, I ask you to do that. But it's always with the idea, it's, and it's not lacking faith, it's actually trusting God to do the right thing. And it is really a submission. I'm praying to God. His, his ways are far greater than we can ever understand. Then number two, we pray or talk with God, realizing that we have been joined with him. That, you know, we're not by ourselves in this thing. God, wherever you are, God, you are with me. That, old, that really gives you a whole different dimension of your prayer. Well, where are you headed in life? Does God want you to continue doing the same thing that you're doing or maybe your daily routine to be the same? Or do you need a direction change of one kind or another? Do you need a direction and just maybe not your vocation or maybe it is your vocation, but maybe it's your the way you live with him. Maybe your times of devotion and, and what you're doing. You know, sometimes we need just to take an inventory and say, Lord, am I really doing what you want me to do? Well, today we're going to talk about going for the walk of our lives. It's the walk of our lives. In other words, how are we living our life? Well, today we're talking about a prayer walk. Walking in prayer, living always with that knowledge that God is with me and I can talk to him anytime. How's that? Talking to the creator of the universe anytime and he is with you. We're walking together. We're living together. It, that is my walk of life. Walking with the Lord. Our prayer walk. Do we just some people, it's interesting, some people will say, well, Lord, I don't mean to bother you. Lord, I don't ask for too many things, as if that would please him. No, God wants you to bring everything to him and involve him in your life. God created you to be involved with him and him with you. So you're never putting out God out or asking too much or anything. He, he just wants your fellowship. It's a life lived with the Lord. A full life recognizes God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Our life is a walk of many, many days. And each one of those days, realizing that you're never alone. You're always with the creator of the universe. And realize that the walk that you have now that walk will continue into eternity in eternal life. In Psalm 
37 out of the New Living Translation. It says, don't worry about the wicked or envy those who do wrong. For like grass, they shall soon, they soon fade away. Like spring flowers, they will wither. Instead, trust in the Lord and do good. Then you will live safely in the land and prosper. Take delight in the Lord and he will give you your heart's desires. Now we're reading from the book of Psalms. It's the word of God. It's God's word to us. It's not just a high lofty thought. It's the truth that God speaks to us. Verse five is absolutely key. Commit everything you do to the Lord. Trust him and he will help you. That includes praying to him and praying with him. Commit everything you do to the Lord. Trust him and he will help you. He will make your innocence radiate like the dawn and justice of your cause will shine like the noonday sun. Be still in the presence of the Lord and wait patiently for him to act. You know, walking in prayer is waiting on the Lord in trust. It's acknowledged him. It's acknowledging that he is your source and it acknowledges that you are with him and he is with you. Don't worry about evil people who prosper or fret about the wicked, their wicked schemes. In other words, quiet your mind from worrying about all of that so that you can hear him. Stop being angry. Stop being angry. You know, angry anger is a focus of your thoughts. Focus on trusting the Lord because you're not just praying to him. You're praying with him. Turn from your rage. Do not lose your temper. Instead, find God's peace and strength. Losing your temper, it says, it only leads to harm. For the wicked will be destroyed, but those who trust in the Lord will possess the land. Why? Because the earth is the Lord's and we belong to him. We pray to God, for he is the one who works all things together for good, for the sake of all that's good. It's sometimes we we think that God's trying to limit us or limit our fun or whatever. No, God's working all things together for good. That's why simply following him is the very best thing you can ever do. We're praying with God because we realize how close he is to us. Our faith recognizes God's existence. It recognizes his power. And it recognizes that God is good all the time. May we cast our lives into God's perfect will. His will is deeper than any ocean you can travel in or you can swim in. It's beyond anything that we can even ask or think. As we end today, we're going to end it in a time of worship and praise. And I pray that you're just getting this into your spirit, that you're not just praying to God, but you're praying with him. And that no matter what you face, God is with you. He'll never leave you. He'll never forsake you. Even when we're not faithful, he is faithful and true. Well, we'll see you tomorrow as we conclude this time of 
teaching on praying to God and with God. But let's take a few minutes and praise and worship. We'll see you tomorrow. God bless. This has been God's Food for Thought.